There you go. Holy smokes. Good morning. My name is Tom. I come to you from the rustic log cabin in northern Maine. Welcome to my cabin this morning. Eight o'clock in the morning, I'm still, so I'm still putting the coffee to me. <laughs> I'm working on the boat today. It's a cloudy day. I got a long sleeve shirt on. The mosquitoes are out in force today. They was last night too, come to think of it. <laughs> Anyways, what are we doing? Well, I started this series on, on building up this boat. And I want to tie it in with, uh, we did a video a couple, it was probably three videos back. I want to tie it in with uh, homeless foragers and the myths that are created from YouTube channels about surviving in the wilderness and all of that stuff. And how far off that most of them are. Not all of them. I just want to make sure it's not starting to rain. If it rains, i got to get that camera undercover. <laughs> they don't like water. Uh, so many YouTube channels are pushing such false, false knowledge that I wanted to kind of uh, tie this boat in with that false knowledge that they're just not... They're not telling you. They're saying, you know, come to the great state of Maine or wherever. Come to the big woods of Michigan. Uh, uh, come to Alaska uh, and you will succeed. It's, it's all out in the woods. It's all waiting. and It's only out there waiting if you have the skills and knowledge to go with it. For this year, this is my menu. And I am just sharing it with you this morning. As you can see, there are lots and lots of variety here to the food list that can be gathered from the great state of Maine woods. Do not listen to those naysayers that say it is impossible to uh, live off the land or that only food you can take from the wild is a supplement. It's just a supplement to uh, what you have to buy anyways. The menu has not changed here in as long as this place has been a country and usable, the uh, old trappers, the old woodsmen, they always had to go to town to get beans and potatoes and stuff like that. They're dry goods. Uh, nothing has changed across the country in the trapper's world. Uh, they've always had to, the trapper woodsmen, always had to go to town and get their beans and their coffee and stuff like that. So uh, a supplement to the, to the diet, that is... Uh, that's the naysayers. That's the uh, fake YouTube channels. That's the ones that don't really know how to pull a living out of the great outdoors. Well, here's a start, and there is much, much more that is not covered in this list. This was just uh, something to show the naysayers that you are wrong. But how does this boat play in? The whole outdoor surviving thing revolves around food. Food independence. I consider myself um, more of a channel about food independence than more of, than a survival channel. You know how to come how to come up here in the main woods. <laughs> Mosquitoes are getting me. How to come up here in the main woods and survive? You're not going to do it with the go bag that so many. YouTube channels are telling you to put together, you know, you, you, they'll, they'll take you through a go bag that's filled with more trinkets and toys and, and and stuff you won't need. I'll do a, I've got a go bag that goes on the back of my snowmobile. I will take that apart. I've done it in the past, but I'll take it apart again and share it with you. There are no trinkets and toys and all the, uh, the stuff that th these YouTube channels want to push on you. And the same thing with sporting goods stores and all of that. That's not survival equipment. That's stuff that you're going to go camping with. You're going to have some fun with it. All of that. It's not. It's it's not 
them aren't the tools that are going to make you succeed. Let's put it that way. If you're going to come up here and be food independent, I mean, I mean, yeah, food independent from society, you're going to need some equipment. Now, it doesn't mean you need to spend a, a million dollars. doesn't mean you need to spend, a, you know, a, a lot of money to, to become that way. But you're not going to catch enough decent fish casting from shore if, you, if you've got a fish pole with you. It's going to take some kind of a boat. I have been fishing for since I was probably seven years old. I have never spent more than $250 on an aluminum boat. Never. This boat you're looking at right here is part of the series. This is a 18-foot StarCraft. I bought this out of a junkyard for $100. And I'll get into the series. I've got a motor going on back that was bought for a fraction of the cost of, a, of, of buying motors and all of that. It's kind of being in the right place at the right time for a good deal. But you need, you need, you know, you see the go bag and all filled with trinkets and toys and stuff like that. There isn't none of those survival channels that are talking about having a good rifle. There's none of those survival channels, them YouTube channels, and that's why I say it's false, false knowledge. None of them are talking about having a good 12 gauge shotgun in your, in your, go bag and none of them are talking about having a whether it's a 14 a 16 a 12 foot boat in your go bag <laughs> you know even a 12 foot boat will get you out there where you're going to catch enough fish that you could eat for a month you can eat all summer on the India fishing rod food is not an issue when it comes to uh, if you've got a fish rod and you got yourself a small boat. That's about how simple it is to feed you here in the state of Maine. Now you can't go after the game fish and think you're going to eat enough to sustain you because we have laws and we have limits and all of that. So that's where other, like there's other species with no limits. There's other species that are great to eat with no limits and you can uh, put enough away for the summer and put some away for the winter time. Uh, here, if I get a good catch, I like to can it up, and that way it doesn't take refrigeration. I have my canner, I have my canning jars, and all of that stuff. And that's the other thing that these, I call them, you know, fake, fake YouTube channels that are pushing to you know, come to the big state of Maine woods and you will succeed. You, know, you don't see them in there talking about having a pressure canner and having a, a, a hundred or so jars for canning up your catch whether it be collecting fiddleheads in the spring or whether it be you know even your catch during the summer months there's uh lots of fish that you can catch and put in a canning jar with no limit you know white perch is one of them uh we i like to call them mountain trout but there's a a, a chub that i catch that's that's uh it's not the best fish to eat but there's no limit on it and you can catch lots of them that's another fish that you can put in your cannon jar or in your freezer. Uh, you don't see these. You don't see these these YouTube channels uh, pushing that that side of survival. It's always about the trinkets. It's always about the toys. It's always about building fires on a wet. On I mean on a dry dry desert uh, where I mean it would take a complete nincompoop not to be able to build a fire. On, on some of these videos, the conditions are just so perfect. And that's not the way it is in the, in the, real, the real outdoor experience. And that's what I try to bring you in this channel is uh, that's just not the way it is. You know, <laughs> uh, I just don't know what else to put there on that. But anyways, false, false knowledge is, is something that really, really irks me. And that's why I started this channel so many years ago, uh, right now. And, and, you know, if you want to find something in my channel, uh, go to the playlist. I've tried to break them down so that it's just fishing or it's just fire building. Uh, you know, I've tried to go in and clean up the playlist so that when you get in there, 
that's what's there. Go in and look at uh, building Beaver Creek. That's an outpost that I that I built three years ago, and that's my that's my meat eating factory. Uh, I can go there and, and shoot deer. Uh, you name it. It's way back in the woods. It's a great place to hunt, and it's a great outpost for putting for putting uh, food in my freezer. And that's why I I I, I kind of consider the channel, like I said earlier in this thing, is uh, food independence. Food independence. You know, especially at today's prices in the grocery store, stuff like that. Anything that you can do to put some, some free food in your freezer or in your canning jar is a huge help in, in my lifestyle. You know, it's, but it takes a lifetime. It takes a lifetime to develop this lifestyle. It, it just, you know, and you, you, you have to start. You have to start somewhere. And that you don't see in, in a lot of those uh, fake YouTube channels. I call them fake because they're the junk that's in the the junk that's in the go bag is a dead giveaway to being uh, not very realistic. You know, some of those videos they they uh, run outside, do a video, run inside, and upload it, and then you're supposed to. And I just can't believe that so many people buy into it. They have such a huge following. They have a huge following, and it's basically based on crap knowledge. Uh, you know, <laughs> so anyways, enough of that. Uh, I'm going to get on to building this boat. Have yourself a cup of coffee with me today. I am really happy you guys are here and come along. And I'm really happy that you guys take the time to watch my videos, so... I'll see you next week.